Hello guys, so I got my cyclic, I've been practicing with it and I completely suck. I suck, 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 super suck. It's like completely trying to learn to fly a helicopter again. I like, actually got a pretty decent hover when I used a regular flight stick, but now oh, I can't hover for the life of me. I mean, I can kind of fly the helicopter, kind of like I could kind of fly a, a helicopter before, but I have so much less control. I really feel like I'm fighting myself. fighting myself here the helicopter will slide slip when I'm going slow uh, you know basically um, how I made a cyclic is I used um, Verpal MC uh, uh, MC3 base and a 20 centimeter extension and a stick grip and I removed the springs and cams and now it basically just stays in place where I let it go, no center. Which is very fun, that's kind of like how a cyclic does work, so it's probably more realistic in how you fly it. But man, I, I have no control. People have talked about putting in, s not curves, but uh, the other stuff you can do on the axis tunes, I don't remember exactly what it's called. And I don't know, I... Like, I don't really care about radius shit, like, I use easy communication most of the time. But I really like, want the controls in the plane or helicopter to be as realistic as possible, that's part of the immersion in VR. So, I really want my stick to behave as closely as possible to a Huey stick. And I don't know how to get my stick exactly to behave, uh, or not exactly, but as close as a Huey stick as possible. I never flown a Huey, so unless I get someone who knows how to fly a Huey and put them in front of me and say, well, that's how it's supposed to feel, that's the settings you need, I just have to guess. So, yeah, I don't know. I have no curves or anything on the stick. Uh, I don't know if that is correct or if it's too sensitive now, I don't know. I really don't. Anyway, I'm in a gunship. I'm just gonna try it out for a gunship, I've been flying civilian stuff and uh, slicks, now it's time for gunship stuff. And my 60 gunners are having fun, whoa, that's tw 50 cals against us. Come on, getting those rockets on, we just gonna have to walk them in there. Gonna have to walk them in there. I got him! I got the fucker. He was the most dangerous one. Although there's a shit ton of infantry here. They're shooting up my Huey! There are holes everywhere!
course. In DCS, splash damage is very, very weak. In real life, those rockets would have taken out that truck on the second volley. But I needed to get even closer. But in real life, that close to rockets would have killed the drivers and ripped the car apart. It makes rockets and bombs really ineffective against soft targets. If you just... Unless you ripple bomb or you laser bombs or JDAMs or something, trying to cover an area, killing spread out infantry or light armor is not really effective. It's a shame. They really should fix that. Same with guns firing heavy 20 millimeters or something, 20, 30 millimeter cannons against infantry, it just doesn't work because of the splash damage thing. I thought they would fix that for the... I want that car, that useless unarmed car. Spent a lot of rockets, but I got him, I think. So I thought they were gonna fix the splash damage with the he uh, Apache, because you know, the anti-infantry light armor and unarmored thing in their cannon, the 30mm gun on the Apache is made to blow up lightly armored, unarmored and infantry, so I thought they would fix the splash damage for that, but apparently they haven't. So that gun is a far less effective gun than it's supposed to be in the game, seems kind of stupid releasing a module that has a very effective gun and making it less effective, but okay. I'll let my gunner have fun now with his, or my co-pilot, Peter Pilot, have fun with his little minigun. So yeah, flying with a strange cyclic works fine when you fly it like this, it's a bit strange, but it works fine. It's when you get slow and start to hover, you really, really need to relearn stuff. And just for fun, my speedometer doesn't work. They shot my speedometer. I'm flying zero knots. So that's fun. It appears that's the only thing that's really damaged now. Why are shooting that? Their target's right in front of us. Seriously, we're flying straight for them. Why are you using one gun when you can use two guns on these guys? These guys right in front of us! They're shooting at us! Hello! Ugh. This really is useless. So also the minigun would of course be far more effective if the splash damage was fixed. So I'm heading home. My speedometer is down. I don't know what else is damaged. So I'm not taking any chances. I don't want to explode at all. The engines does seem fine. You know, I don't know how fast I'm going. The throttle is okay. Temperature seems okay. But how long would it last? There are holes every fucking where. We're just lucky not getting hit ourselves. Yeah, everything seems stable. Everything seems stable and fine. So that's good. Now we just need to land without a speedometer. That will be fun. My vertical speed indicator seems to work. That's very important. Where the hell is the airfield? Hello, little airfield. How can I miss a giant airfield in the jungle? just took off from it. Is that the giant swimming pool or rice paddies? I don't know. Where are you? Little airfield. I 
don't know how much longer my helicopter will stay in there. I need to land. At least I've spent all the rockets and ammo. Oh, I'm completely wrong. So it's not as heavy anymore, so it shouldn't be that hard to land if I can do it properly. Real gadget pilots during the Vietnam War would be so heavily loaded that they could barely get off the ground and they had to fly just a couple of feet above the ground taxi to the uh, to a runway and just get speed and uh, until they get transitional lift to get off they were just too heavy to do a proper hover and uh, get up really I didn't have a problem taking off in this we are of course much lower a lot of those helicopter bases were quite high up in the mountains in Vietnam with thinner air here I'm starting more or less at sea level, which makes it much, e much easier. I can try and do the same thing, put it on um, high top and uh, Caucasus maps or something. That would be much, much harder. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And now you can see, losing control here. Almost got VRS there. Had to dip it. little wingman doing stuff spinning rockets on a couple of infantry guys come on let's get there so apparently the lack of speedometer wasn't a huge problem so now I'm somewhat out of control, so I'm just gonna put her down right here. I need to find that sweet spot, man. Man, this is so strange using this kind of stick on the in DCS. Come on. Come on. I don't know if I should have curves on the rudders or either. Well, I'm down. Let's go home. Okay, how much damage do we have? Let's just turn off the weapon system. Uh, they probably don't want us to have that armed on the airfield. Let's see here. Don't see that many holes on our body. There's a lot on the windshield. They also aimed for the pilots here. They must have hit the speedometer of some kind. Since I don't have any airspeed indication. Hmm, it seems surprisingly whole with all those bullets that I noticed hitting us. That's strange. Seems like windshields took most of the heat. Both our gunners are alive too. Peter Pelt alive. Yeah, okay. That's not too bad. Now, let's try and get back to where we started. Let's see. Let's release the trim and trim there. Let's try. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. And we're up. We're not hovering. We're just sneaking slowly along the ground. Trying to keep the altitude, trying to keep the speed. Trying to have control, knowing where I want to go and actually going there. 
I think I just have to practice this kind of slow crawl before I actually start to be good at hovering. Just can't find a hover, you know. No matter how slowly back and forth I try and do the cyclic, it always does stuff. Tiny bit back and starts going way back. Tiny bit forward, starts going way forward. Tiny to the side, going way to the side. Even though I'm basically just moving slightly around the center. And let's turn it around. Oh, and now I'm going back. That's that's my fault. I took it. I moved it backwards as I was going back. There we go. I think that's about where I started. Oh, stop there. Stop there. And down we go. Okay. That was somewhat controlled.